Hello everyone, welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. Um, just wanted to do a quick video, hopefully it won't run too long, hopefully I won't babble too much. Um, I wanted to do a quick video of, um, I I've had a few people on Instagram ask me uh, over the last couple of months whether the Rotter Faden was worth the money. Um, so I wanted to do a quick rundown of the actual, I the actual cover. I know the last time I just kind of did a flip through of it, but I'd like to actually talk about the actual cover and do um, a little review and my opinions of it. And you can take it for what it's worth. There are going to be people who love things and people who don't like things and, you know, people who have their own different experiences with it. And that's okay. But I thought I'd just put my, you know, simple for what it's worth opinion out there on it. Um, first thing I'm going to cover is the structure of the book and then, and how it, kind of it works. And then I'm gonna cover what I like and what I don't like about it. So um, we'll kind of go from there. So structure of the book is pretty simple. It's almost like a more structured traveler's notebook, front cover, back cover, both of leather. Um, I know that on the actual Rotterfaden website, you can pick from, I think, a few different colors and different materials. I had um, my brother actually bought this for me for my birthday in April, so uh, he ordered it from Baumkuchen, and they only offer it, as far as I know, in this color, the lighter brown and the black. So, um, you know, depending on what you're looking for, if you're looking for colors or different materials that are not leather, I'm they offer those on their own website. Um, but I have not dug deep into their website, so I don't know exactly what combinations and things like that that they offer. Um, so anyway, um, I uh, requested mine to be this dark chocolate brown color. I think it, um, for me, it scratches really nicely and it rubs out. And even if it doesn't, I'm good with the scratches. Um, and I think that the dark brown for me just hides a lot of, you know, I constantly am not paying attention to what I'm doing with my pens and things like that. So if I mark on it, it's not really that huge of a deal. Um, when, before I bought it, um, my biggest question was what the spine is made out of because I think a lot of descriptions tend to leave that out. This, or they just don't, they're not very specific. They kind of show you the spine, but they don't tell you what it's made from. So I'll show you the spine and I'll tell you uh, kind of what it is made from. It is black, and as far as I know, they're all black. So no matter what color you order, this is going to be black, as far as I know. Um, it is made from elastic like a really thick sturdy elastic and then it has these little pockets sewn into the elastic for the clips that hold the notebooks into the cover so um, you know this can expand depending on how hefty of uh, notebooks that you're putting in there um, mine is an a5 so it's the larger size um, it has this elastic band to keep it shut that goes across the front. So, you know, a traveler's notebook usually goes from the spine or from the back around the middle. This one goes from top to bottom. Um, has a little pen loop here in the same color of elastic that comes here. And I think that all of the ones from Baumkuchen have this red elastic, but I'm pretty sure on the actual Rotterfaden um, website you can order different colors of elastic. I think they have a black one and um, maybe a different color. I, I don't know. But... Um, inside is felt. Um, it's got three pockets, two smaller card size pockets, and then a bigger pocket in the front. And in the back, there's a big, like, secretarial pocket. Is that what they call it? Or a slip pocket. Um, I use, usually have a calendar back here. Uh, I don't have it in there today, but I usually have a calendar back here. I think I read somewhere that in the A5 size, it's big enough to hold an iPad mini, maybe. I don't know. I don't own an iPad mini, so I can't try it out for you, but um, it's it's pretty big and deep pocket. It's sewn to the very edge, so, you, you know, you can fit quite a few larger things in there if you need to. Uh, mine only has three of these little clips for the notebooks, but I do know that they sell a four-clip version. So, um, you know, if you wanted to put four smaller notebooks in, then you could do that. Um, so, mine holds... Right now, this um, this is from Yellow Paper House. It's like a blank, multicolored sketchbook sort of thing. Um, it's not fully A5 size. I think it's what they consider their wide size. I'm not sure the exact dimensions of it. So, but you can see it doesn't like it's not really quite an A5 
size. So those are the two notebooks on top of each other, and then there's that one, so this one's a little bit smaller. But it's tall enough, so that's why I put it in there. This is an A5 size. Um, this is uh, Tomo River paper insert from Goulet Pens, and you're probably going to hear my kids arguing over um, video games right outside my door for some reason, so <laughs> just to let you know that's what those voices might be. Um, and then I have a Stalogy notebook in here. I had a Habanichi in here, but um, I'm breaking up with Habanichi this year because their pages are dated and I am too free of a spirit to do dated pages. Not really. I mean, I am kind of too free of a spirit for it, but I, um, I feel incredibly guilty when I skip pages and so then the half the notebook goes to waste because then I give up. I'm like, well, if I skipped a month and I'm going back to it, that's embarrassing, so I just don't do it. Uh, Stalogy is very similar quality paper to the Tomo River paper and it's undated. So, um, and I'll give you an example, like here, I did a page on October 3rd and then I didn't do one till the 5th and that was because on the 4th, there was nothing exciting happening in my life and really nothing exciting on these two pages either, but stuff that I did that was worthy of writing about. So that's what I like about this particular notebook. I don't have to, you know, beat myself over the head for spending so much money on it and then like skipping big chunks of it and then finally like being embarrassed and giving up. So those are the three notebooks that I keep in here. These stay in here with these little clips. What these do is these flip up and you can adjust them they come up as a matter of fact you can take them all the way out if you need to it comes out um and then you can just slip it back into its little uh elastic pocket here well maybe it does ha 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 there it is so there's a little see the little hole in the elastic you just put the little um thing back down in there like that and then it goes back in and it, co it goes up and it telescopes up and down so that you can put it in your notebooks. And then it just kind of stays in there. Um, you can either find the center of your notebook, which is what I do with this one. This is the center of the notebook. Um, or you can use it as a bookmark for whatever page you're on. Um, I found that didn't really work for me because these are really unwieldy compared to elastic. And so when you're writing on a page that's near them, see there, there it is. It, it makes this huge bump I don't I, it's one of the things I don't like about it so um so as far as value for the money um people say well what you know would you buy it would you you know is it worth the money and the simplest answer is absolutely not um <laughs> it's it's very expensive and I've had lots of different, you know, notebook covers, uh, traveler's notebook style covers, and you know, if I'm going to spend 50 or 60 or even more money than that on a cover, I expect a really nice sturdy piece of leather. And I was really almost shocked when I got this, and you look at it, and the only part of it that is leather is this skinny little top piece and bottom piece, but it's very um I, you know, I don't, I don't feel like it's going to rip or anything, but like to me, I just felt like for the kind of money that was paid for it, there should be thicker leather than this on it. Like there should be less felt than there is leather. So that was a little bit disappointing. To me, it's a little floppy. I hate this. See how this squeezes in like this? I don't know if you can see it really well because I'm holding it close now. But see how that like squeezes? It's because the leather isn't very sturdy. And I've tried to like push my notebooks up so it doesn't do that. But it doesn't really matter. Um, like then it happens on the bottom. <laughs> so, and so what happens is, is that when I take this off, this has created this bend in it. So do you see how it just naturally goes in on its own? I can't, that drives me nuts. I don't like it when traveler's notebooks do it on this side and I don't, I don't like that. I mean, I've learned to live with it and it's not enough for me to be like, ah, I'm never using this again. But it, like when I look at it, it does make me cringe a little bit. Um, these clips I have found if I'm not constantly keep, you know, fussing with them and, and pulling them a little bit further away from, let's see if I can show you, further away from the from the top of the spines of the notebooks that if I don't 
constantly fuss with them and keep them, they go down, they'll work themselves really far down so that they're touching the spines and then they, they start to crease and damage the edges of the spines of the notebooks. I don't like that. I, when I put my notebooks on a shelf, I want them to be nice and neat and not have a crunched in top and bottom. <laughs> so, um, you know, those are small minor things, but they are things that to me are bothersome and I probably wouldn't buy one again knowing that it does that. Um, and you know, these things aren't very hard to pull up and pull down. It's not like they're constantly slipping out on their own. But when I was carrying it around in my bag, I would find that after it banged around a little bit in my bag that, um, you know, I just, it, it would end up pushing them in further than I wanted them to be. Um, my other issue that I don't personally like is the way that these things are. Once you get to a certain point in your notebook, you can see it there. See that? I don't know if you can or not, but there's a bump there and it's, it's there because of those spines and I find it very difficult to write on the whole page. So basically if I leave these notebooks in there when I'm writing on them, I can only use from here over. That means, and, and granted I'm not, I don't wanna write in the spine, but it would be nice to like have that half an inch back if I'm gonna draw or paint or whatever. So I find that a lot of the times I'm undoing it and taking it out of the cover and then putting it back in. And to me, that seems like a waste of time. Um, there's really no point in me having a cover if I'm gonna do that. The only time I really would desire to do that is if I'm doing something really messy in here that I don't wanna get all over the felt of the inside of the leather cover. So um, so those are the things that I kind of am like, well, you know, they're not, it's not my, fa it's not my, not my favorite way to go about things, but you know, I have it and I use it. The things that I do like about it, the felt inside, super high quality. Um, it only really pills around the edge and that is very, very rare. Um, although I do not carry it around with me very often because it's an A5 size and I have this big, notebook in it it's not very portable it's very heavy and I carried around for a while but it became so unwieldy that I just couldn't do it anymore so um yeah so I just this really basically stays at home and I work on these pages kind of at the end of my day and I'm you know I'm sad because I'd like to work on these when I have time when I'm out and about but because it's like killing my back to carry it around I just don't um I just don't do that anymore. So um, I'll probably rework uh, one of my traveler's notebooks to kind of, you know, doodle in and all of that good stuff um, when I'm out and about. But for now, um, this is the only thing that I'm using just because I'm trying to simplify and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, I don't, th my complaints are really just personal complaints. I know, I, you know, I've watched lots of videos on these before I bought one and no one complained about the things that I'm complaining about. So I'm, I don't know if it means that I'm alone in my complaint or if I'm just being picky, which it could be because there are certain things that I'm, you know, I'll say something about and I'm like, you know, oh, why do you like that? Or why do you, I would hate that. And, you know, everybody's different. So you know, I just thought that I would give my opinion. You know, I, if I were giving out stars, I would probably give it like a three out of five. Um, you know, if you like to collect notebook covers and it's your thing to kind of switch in and out of them and it's something that you want as part of your collection, then by all means, you know, you should run out and grab one. But if it's something that you're really thinking you're going to settle down and use all the time, I would say for me, I'm only doing that because right now I don't have the money to fill up my traveler's notebook and use this. So if I were in that position, I would probably be using my traveler's notebook more and this would just sit at home probably collecting dust. <laughs> um, and I don't like to keep things that I don't use. So, you know, maybe one day I get my, I'll get my traveler's notebook up and running and you know, with some new inserts and I'll just, you know, use, use that. But until then, um, you know, I'm using this and it's fine. I, I love my brother for buying it for me. I love the room that it provides, you know, cause I like the A5 size for the room. It's just not convenient for me to carry around. So, um, 
anyway, that's my opinion on it. If you have any questions or um, you want me to answer any more specific questions, you can go ahead and post them down there and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by. Bye.